very good morning children in this video we are going to discuss about uh, mechanism of breathing before that in last video what question we discussed children yes a person met an accident luckily all vital organs like brain lungs liver not got affected but diaphragm alone got punctured question was will he survive or not yes many of you answered very correctly he cannot survive because as you know of course diaphragm only increase the volume 70 percentile okay so that is the answer of children now let us uh, discuss about the mechanism of breathing so in mechanism of breathing first part where do we find our lungs of course lungs are present in a cage like structure so imagine like a cage or box where we find our lungs okay so in front we have sternum bone so in front portion we have sternum and back portion we have vertebral column and sides it is encircled by ribs so like a cage it is found okay and if you see the ribs the ribs are if inwardly connected it is called the muscle internal intercostal muscle similarly if the ribs are connected externally okay then it is called external intercostal muscle the muscle which we found in the ribs we call it as phrenic muscle so these are the muscle which are going to participate in mechanism of breathing of course you know it is sternum in front vertebral column at the back encircled by ribs gives you the appearance of cage now let us see children how inhalation happens for us inhalation so where we are inhaling oxygen so in you remember external intercostal muscle opposite so the muscle which participate in inhalation can be asked intercostal muscle okay so when this muscle between the ribs contract it pushes the thoracic cage outward okay so when it contract thoracic cage pushed outward when it is pushed outward what will happen children so the volume increase yes or not the volume increase dorso ventrally back and front okay so volume increase dorso ventrally fine when volume increase what will happen to the pressure very good yes pressure will decrease so this i hope you all know it is boyle's law whenever volume increase volume increase means of course directly proportional to pressure decrease okay now what happens to the diaphragm so in diaphragm the dome shape contracts attains flatten so dome shape diaphragm goes down and flatten so like this it was present now it contract and goes down okay as a result volume increase anterior posteriorly okay so as you all know whenever we increase volume pressure will decrease so in the lungs inside the lungs okay pressure is nil 
compared to the atmosphere so from the atmosphere air will rush into the lungs our lungs is a negative pressure lungs are you all clear children what is that negative pressure lungs when the pressure inside the lungs comparatively lower than the atmosphere we call it as negative pressure lungs okay so inhalation this is how happens i hope you are all clear with the inhalation when external intercostal diaphragm contracts volume increase pressure decrease so we are inhaling okay now we'll see exhalation exhalation opposite you have to think internal intercostal muscle when internal intercostal muscle contracts what happen the thoracic cage attains normal shape so it goes back to the original condition it is already it was pushed outside now it goes back to the original condition as a result what will happen now volume decrease when volume decrease of course pressure will increase okay now diaphragm regain its original shape that is it becomes dome shape again volume decrease that means pressure increase so when volume increase uh, sorry volume decrease and pressure increase as a result we are exhaling okay exhaling happens i told you already about a negative pressure lungs sir. now let me ask you one question children you know rbc which carry oxygen and all yes sir now what sort of breathing happens in rbc is it aerobic respiration or anaerobic respiration post your answers in the comment box children thank you all for watching this video please subscribe share and support your teacher